Hi, David Fine here from Keys Mods. Guys, today we're doing a video that's people don't think about how butterflies see or hear or taste or touch. I mean, maybe some people do, but a lot of people don't realize. Guys, did you know that butterflies are actually deaf? That's right, they don't hear. Well, they don't have ears. Uh, now, moths have a, the ability to pick up vibration because they have another, a different organ that butterflies do not have. And in fact, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a uh, test before we go into our uh, video on the fact that butterflies don't hear and moths do hear. We're gonna go into some biology, but first I'm gonna see if I can scare these two butterflies. Are they coming back? That would really kill my intro if the butterflies, okay, here they're back. I'm gonna yell as loud as I can and see if it, it makes any difference at all. Ready? Here we go. Ah! Ah! No difference at all, guys. The butterflies, ah! They're just going on about their business. They, they're not, they don't hear. That's, that's baffling. You know, a lot of times when we're trying to study butterflies where we creep up so that we don't make any noise so make sure that they don't hear our 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 shh, oh, quiet we can't talk no actually butterflies can't hear so ah <laughs> it's nothing they don't hear all right guys uh let's get to the video and we'll show you a little bit about how that is oh dang it man that's fast bug All right, guys, this is a great example to show you just how deaf butterflies are. This is a uh, pink spot sulfur female. She's laying eggs on this tree here. And what I wanna do is, you know, when they're laying eggs, they're very intent. She's gonna be here for the next half hour uh, laying eggs. Actually, there's two of them here. This is great, perfect timing. Now, butterflies lack a tympanic membrane, which means they don't hear. Moths, on the other hand, have a tympanic membrane and they actually hear vibrations and respond to vibrations and actually make vibrations when they are in uh, mating and courtship. And actually some, of, some people theorize that they actually use sounds to distract bats at night so that they don't get eaten. So to prove that butterflies are not moved by loud sounds, guys, I am actually going to, there's two of them right here on this tree. I'm actually going to start my very, very loud pressure cleaner right here and I'm gonna show you that these two butterflies are not even going to budge, okay? They're just going ahead laying eggs, just like this. You see this right here? Watch this, guys. If I can get it started. Oh, bad video. Very loud generator, right here. It's literally right here. And she, the butterfly's right there, guys. She didn't even quit, she didn't even blink. She's going on about her business, laying eggs. Even though there's a generator right here. Let's, let's pick up the, uh, the volume a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> she didn't even blink, guys. Butterflies are deaf. Can you believe it? All right, guys. Now, butterflies might not be able to hear, but they do see. Actually, their compound eyes make it uh, very good for them in order to pick up uh, movement, little movements from a predator. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the handle of my pressure cleaning wand and I'm gonna wave it out. I'm gonna show you, butterflies do see, watch this. Okay, so they, both of them flew away. Now oh, they're coming back. But it startled both of them. Let's see, let's see. Okay, he, he's very startled because they do see the other one flew away. All right, they're very unsettled right now because they saw me waving this wand 
uh, at them that this could be a bird swooping in and, and getting them like and they're, they're able to avoid uh, predators with eyesight but not with hearing we've demonstrated that and that's kind of a cool thing to recognize the anatomy of a butterfly in a little bit more of a in-depth way